What is up, everybody? Last week we did a uh, skateboard book or a skateboard art book. Uh, it was uh, The Art of Jim Phillips, which is a killer book. And today we're going to be doing this one, Disposable, A History of Skateboard Art. Um, I don't really know what the difference between the two are, but there's also Disposable skateboard art bible that's out there as well which i don't have because i think the price went a little ridiculous on it i think the price on this one might be a little high as well um i probably paid like half price at the time maybe like 15 bucks it was probably like a 30 dollar book and i think it's gone up since uh and i think the skateboard art bible that is also called disposable and i believe it's the same publishing company that puts them both out so it's a little bit confusing i think that one's really gone sky high i could be wrong um, but the last time I checked, they were both pretty high. So, uh, let's take a peek inside. So same thing applies here with this book, um, as did, uh, the Jim Phillips book. If you're into skateboards, skateboard art, all that kind of crazy stuff, you are going to absolutely love this book. Every page, um, is just filled, filled with beautiful color artwork. I mean, there's something to look through. Just about every day if you really want to just like uh that jim phillips book like i've picked this book up so many times over the course of the past maybe 10 years maybe i've had it about 10 years it might be a little less than that for this book um one one uh there's a jeff grasso right there um awesome board um i always wanted this one actually i never actually got a hold of it but <clears throat> I don't really actually know the way it's set up. It looks like, I think it kind of jumps around. Sometimes it's like, there's Dwayne Peters, man. Uh, he actually uh, responded to one of my Instagram, uh, not posts, but I said something on his Instagram and he responded to it. But he's pretty active on social media, actually, believe it or not. Um, and, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He's got, He's got a... It's got a reputation and a history, I'm sure, but uh, as far as all my interactions with him have been, he's a really awesome guy. A Zorlak board, yeah. So there's like, there's a million things to look through in here. A bunch of Zorlak, yeah, this is all Zorlak. Um, pus head stuff. Definitely a Zorlak pus head right there. Um, Vision right there. I've got, let's see if my... Let's see what we got in here. There's a lot of vision stuff. Oh, Mark Gonzalez, <laughs> an amazing artist and skateboarder. But uh, yeah, it's awesome. I just got a, a Mark Gonzalez sticker actually, um, just the other day. Uh, looking to see if I can find a vision board that I actually have right now. Oh man, Gator Rosowski. Um, if you don't know the story of him, there's a there's a documentary. Um, uh, I think it's just called, like, The Life and Times of Gator. Um, definitely worth checking out. Dude was amazing, but did some crazy, maybe terrible stuff. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe not. He might have just, you know, you'll gotta, you got to watch the movie. But uh, it, uh, I lean more towards that uh, it was all a mistake and he didn't do what he did on purpose. But, uh, yeah, check out the movie. Um Man, so many good things. Anyway, <clears throat> so, World Industries, uh, yeah, it, it goes, uh, it jumps around, but it's like, it'll tell you artist, and then it'll tell you, oh man, Simon Woodstock. Simon Woodstock just fought Jason Ellis uh, in an actual boxing match. Jason Ellis, I mean, I'm probably going to get some stuff wrong, because uh, I don't entirely know, but Jason Ellis was a pro skateboarder, still skates a little bit, but he's like a... I don't know if it's MMA or if he's just a boxer, but dude is, like, jacked, and uh, he, like, you know, fights, I guess, for a living, and Simon Woodstock was, like, he put he put it out there that he wanted to fight him, and they did, and I'm pretty sure Jason Ellis won, but, uh, you know, Simon Woodstock's a big, scary dude, too. Um, not quite as big and scary as, as uh, Jason Ellis, though, but uh, look at that little rat finky uh, thing going on there. I don't actually know who did that. To World Industries, Mark McKee. Yeah, I feel like he did a lot of their stuff. Um, there's like Alien Workshop stuff in here. There's just a ton of killer stuff. But 
I remember the first time it was ever, uh, that's awesome, ever really um, felt some emotion towards like a piece of art or whatever. This dude I knew in my neighborhood named Steve had this, uh, I think it's a blindfold. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he was rolling around as like a, you know, we were in like maybe middle school, maybe, maybe not even middle school. And he had this blind board um, with like like this younger brother with like a little play gun, and I guess the son got a hold of like the dad's actual gun and accidentally shot him. And this this board made me really pissed off, really angry, really sad. And uh, I like I couldn't even look at the board at all. Like when I was younger, I was just like so angry about it. Um, not about the art or anything, but just the idea that that could happen. That, 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 and it does, it, it happens all the time. And uh, as I got older, I realized like, that is an amazing piece of art because it made me feel all those feelings that I guess was the intention. Uh, oh yeah, there you go, that makes sense. So that's Mark McKee also, that makes sense because like the little boy's faces are kind of like similar to that, that other board that I guess he did for World Industries. But yeah, at this point, I'm just rambling on and on. Um, there's just an unbelievable amount of full page killer, killer artwork in this book. And, uh, you know, I guess, uh, I guess I'm a pretty positive dude. And, uh, you know, every book, obviously, that I'm going to post, put on, on this YouTube page or YouTube account, like, you know, I already like the book a lot, so obviously I'm recommending this book, but, you know, oh, look at these, like, oh man, these Caballero sketches, um, not done by Caballero, I don't believe, although, yeah, no, no, not done by Caballero, although, Steve Caballero now does a ton of, uh, his own artwork, there you go, there's a dragon by Steve Caballero, he's gotten a lot better over the years, he, uh, if you don't follow him on Instagram, go follow him on Instagram, he... Posts a good amount of art, actually, but, uh, yeah, again, I'm rambling, so I'm just gonna end it here, but, you know, <laughs> pick this book up, it's really awesome, uh, and yeah, uh, I think, oh, look at the Ripper, oh, damn, yeah, let me, uh, let me end it here, alright, uh, pick up the book, it's a fantastic book, and until next time.